The A400M was designed by the European company Airbus as a strategic and tactical transport and tanker aircraft. Personnel and material are primarily transported with this aircraft. The A400M can carry up to 116 soldiers, two Eurocopter Tiger helicopters, six Wolf type SUVs or other combinations. The Airbus A400M Atlas is one of the first aircraft to have two propellers on the wing rotating in opposite directions. This means that both propellers turn towards the centre of the wing, one clockwise, one counterclockwise. For takeoff and landing, the A400M only needs a provisional runway about 1,000 metres long. The gear is also designed for grass, sand and gravel surfaces. Thanks to its smaller dimensions than other transport aircraft, the A400M can fly at low speeds. All of the German Air Force's A400Ms are currently stationed at Air Transport Wing 62 based at Wunstorf near Hanover. The example we see here at the 2023 Australian International Air Show is from Air Transport Wing 62 and we would like to welcome one of the crew to have a quick word with us. Thank you for having us here. Um, I'm Lieutenant Colonel Schmidt from the uh, first squadron in Wunstorf. Um, I'm the squadron commander. I have a um, squadron of about uh, 140 people and uh, yeah, this is a great opportunity for us to do a bit of training, to see the other side of the world and to experience something new. Uh, you asked how we got here, we took the long way around, so we decided to go westwards, um, fly with the sun, so it actually took us five stops to get here, five overnights um, and our last stop was Fiji before coming here which was a great experience for us. Yes, um, I'm, I'm a pilot as well. All our um, uh, flying superiors are actually pilots as well, uh, up to the general, so we all fly. I do part-time flying. I'm a co-pilot on the A400, so whenever I get to leave the office, I get to do a bit of stick time here in the aircraft, in the A400. So how do you find flying the A400? Terrific aeroplane. It's very modern you realize, you notice how um, sophisticated it is, it is really, really state-of-the-art state technology, handling is really fine. The old aircraft I flew had a different characteristics, but it's been a great improvement. Okay. And how many, how many are in service with, uh, in Germany? Currently we have uh, 42 aircraft, we'll get more uh, as the time goes on and our plan is to have in the next five years We'll reach the total number of 50 to 53, somewhere around that. And three a highlight flying the A400. Has there been one or is it yet to come? Well, my highlight is actually this trip. Um, I think previously, uh, previously my highlight was actually air refueling. Um, I come from a uh, VAP flying background, so only passenger transport, only uh, standard IFR strategic flights. And the first time doing air-to-air -air refueling was uh, spectacular. Just having fighters coming up close, fighters uh, communicating with fighters, refueling them, being part of their mission was uh, a great experience. And for any young people watching this that have aspirations to become a pilot, what advice would you give them? Uh, know what you're getting yourself into. Um, 
flying is great, but you have to know if you want to do military flying that there's not more, not more than just piloting the aircraft. Everything uh, around the outside, you have to be, be a, a soldier at heart. If you are, then you can also be a military pilot. If you, if you don't do that, just go to the airline because that's just regular flying for you. But if you do decide to come to the Air Force, you'll get much more than just flying. You'll not just go from A to B, but you go low level, you go, you'll do formation flights. And, and you'll actually see the world, you'll have a bit of time and, and experience. Um, and yeah, take away a lot of things you would not find at home. Excellent. Thank you so much for your time. You're very welcome.